And so we're going to add the IMG SRC is equal to, and then let's add some style. And then we can close that part out, okay? So here we're going to say width, uh, let's say maybe 100 pixels like that. And then let's say um, display, we're going to say, I think inline block is already there by default for images. So what we want to do is just to put the images in the center. We're going to add text align to the entire div and say center. All right, so now the source is going to be images here. Now, since all we want are the actual images uh, from here, we can simply say select images, image, which is the column that we want. And we might also want the post ID, post ID, something like that. So we are just selecting those two, image and post ID. So here we're going to get the column image from there. So images, image like so, that's the one we need, all right? So let's see what we get so far. If I refresh the page, unidentified index image. Okay, so we have to go back here and make sure that there is a column called image. There it is. Okay, so what happens? What's the problem here from posts? Uh, okay, so in this case, what we could do is simply echo it out. So we we're going to say print R so that we see what exactly we have received in there. So I'm going to do that and refresh the page. All right, so that's because we have, again, we have that zero there. So my bad for the second time. So what we want to do, if this is an array, let's loop through it because this is an array in an array. So we're going to say for each images as we're going to say image row, something like so, so that it's more descriptive. So image row down here, image. So that should work just fine. There we go. So we have an image over there. But uh, let's give it some styles. Uh, let's say margin, for example. Let's give it a margin of 10 pixels so that if there are many, it can. Uh... Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now, the problem here is that uh, we are displaying the full image, but we want the uh, the thumbnail version on this part. So what we do. Oh. And actually this is outside the for each loop, which is weird. That's why only one is showing, I guess. So let's go there. And okay, there we go. So we have all the three images showing over here, which is good. But because they're not thumbnails, they don't look so good. They're not ordered in the correct way. So what we want to do is create the images images uh, class something like that or we're just going to say image class is equal to new capital image like so because this is the class that is responsible for giving us thumbnails so what i will do here because i'm going to do a get thumbnail here so i will close that up concatenate with a full stop and op uh, so I've put a double quote here to make one string and join to this and make the other. So in that case, I need to put my inverted commas back in there. But also now I can add images class and point to get thumbnail. I hope that's actually the, uh, the function name, but if it's not, I can always check. We'll see if it gives me an error code to an identified method, get thumbnail. All right, so as I thought, uh, that one does not actually exist. Mm -hmm. 
So what I could do is open the file that uh, can show me what is contained. So let me go to the classes and let me go to the image class. So in any case that you forget what the class name is, just uh, go in there into the classes and see what the function names are. So there's get thumb. So it's probably get thumb. Get thumb profile and get thumb post. So that's the one I probably want. So I'm going to say get thumb post like so and refresh and there we go we have our images now we could make the images a little bit bigger so let me go up here and say 150 maybe mm -hmm. something like that so when you click on photos you see the photos of the user when you go to the timeline you go to the actual timeline and let me go to one of these profiles for this friend here and let me go to their photos oh and it takes me back to this page so the problem here is the reason why it's taking me back here is because for me to go to another profile for example uh, when i'm on this profile they need to have an id for the profile at the top there so this is one thing i actually forgot to add to make sure that uh, we go we are taken to the right place so to edit that we're going to go to where the menus are on the profile.php page so the menus are right here so settings definitely you on you can only check your own settings so we're not going to do that on settings but on photos and following we might want to do that so this is photos and this is photos so i need to change this one to about like so but on photos what i will do is put a uh, question mark and say id is equal to all right so now here we can add the id using the php tags php and then we're going to echo uh, the current user so we're going to say user user data and then user data, we're going to add um, ID. It's actually user ID, like so. And then let's close that up. So let me see if it actually works here. Let me refresh this page. And then these uh, photos. Uh oh, what's happening here? Let me go back, refresh the page. Let's see what the link is looking like. So ID and section is that one. So if I click here again, I don't get what this is going, what this is doing. All right, so let's go back and troubleshoot a little bit here. So if I remove the section is equal to, oh, actually, so I see what's going on. So the question mark here is the problem. I've added two question marks, so I'm supposed to add an and sign there. Okay, so my bad, simple mistakes that we make. So let me refresh again, and then I'm going to hit photos. There we go. So now something, no images were found. So what I want to do is add a little bit of space between this error message and what's at the top there. So I will go back to, um, where is this profile content default profile content photos. So in here I'll add a div inside a div. So I will do this, I'll say div, and then I'm going to delete the closing div and put it at the bottom. So I'm simply going to duplicate this one and then I can tab these guys in so that it's more ordered. And then I'll add a style here where I'm going to say padding so that I can add the padding to this one and it won't extend. So I'm going to say 20 pixels for padding. 
and then I can now refresh and everything goes back to the center. Okay, so, so far so good. No photos, no images were found. And if I go back to my own profile and hit photos, I will see that I have these photos here, which is uh, pretty good. And so there should be a way to go back to the actual page, to my actual page. So maybe I can put that on my name here so that if you click on my name, it goes back to the original place. So in order to do that, uh, let's go back here. Okay, and all we need to do is remove the section part and then we are uh, good to go. So let me go to profile.php and where the name is, uh, where is the name of the user? That should be just above the... All right, instead of looking for this, let me... Yeah, there we go. Let me search. First name, last name. All right, so what I could do is add a, uh, let me lower this, bring it down here so I can easily see it. So what I could do is just add an A tag over here, like so. And then I come down here, paste this down there. Okay, so now this is clickable. And what I add in here is profile.php. And then I will say, uh, ID is equal to, and then I'll get whatever the user data is at that time. So I'm going to say user underscore data, user ID, like so. And that should do it. So if I refresh, I'm at uh, photos. Okay, so there's a syntax error. Of course, I didn't, uh, I forgot to close the tags common mistake there we go so now when I click on that one I go back to my uh, profile and then when I click on photos uh, it shows me the photos so now here we're supposed to be able to see following and followers so I will add that extra uh, there's following here so I need to also copy and this part to all of these guys so let me copy this and put it here and the about as well mm -hmm. except the settings and then on following i will add followers okay this will be easy to add as well and there we go so let me see how that looks like now so timeline about following, uh, following, yes, and one of them should be followers. So this one has followers on the link, so the actual text should be followers, like so. And so let me refresh. There we go. So timeline about followers, following photos, and finally settings. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, what we want is to be able, when we click on this item, on one of these photos, we are taken to an actual post that this person actually did for this image. So 